One of those people is Ann Karen. She's actually a good content creator, but she kind of lets herself get sucked up in a similar way to me, except obviously I got banned for it, which is fair, I think. I actually, let me start here. Aunt Karen follows me on TikTok, okay? I follow her, she follows me, I've messaged her before, I like her, we've talked in comments, okay. Now, after everything that happened with that situation, which I will put somewhere here because I'm really not about to get into that crazy story, I, I started consuming a lot of Aunt Karen's content and I remember thinking like, whoa, bro, if I ever got on this bad, if I ever got on her bad side, I'm gonna lose my house, my job, my skin, my tongue, my legs, my fingers. I mean, she, the girl can take anything, but she can really get a whole bunch of people to, 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 to hone in on, on, on things on TikTok. And it's interesting that he brought that up because it's something I've wanted to talk about, but I've, I've been kind of scared to because there are people that are like, no, we need that activism. And I completely get it. But also, is it too far? Sometimes is it too far? I don't know. I don't know if it's too far. You know what I mean? Um, because I mean, I, even me, I've done things that I absolutely regret and will regret until the day I die. And so it's like, dang, should I not have a job because of that? Should I, you know, be ridiculed for that? Should I be bullied for that? Should, you know, should I be completely deplatformed and taken off of every single social, you know, site because of that? I don't, you know, I don't know. So it's an interesting conversation. So let me know your thoughts on that. I'm definitely not going to go too deep on that, but I definitely wanted to pause there and just, just touch on that because I really loved that he brought that up. Like I really, really did. I know. I don't know why he did it. So listen, let me just get this thing up. Let's you're, it's you're, a, you're, you're, it. Listen, first you jumped off that. You jumped off the assertion that I did it. So okay, now let me let me. I would like let me let me propose wait. my point. I and Actually, you, I know I, that I know that. Listen, man, I don't want I don't want this to devolve into this. I'm curious because that, that's actually I take that very serious. You literally don't even let the man talk. Like it's crazy. Wait, listen, let me let me get it out. That I'm manipulating my audience to hate you. Okay, so can I get my point? If I wanted to do that, look, if I really wanted to do that, there are better ways for me to do it than what is in my video. Can I, can I, can I make the point? Honestly, I kind of suck at doing that because of the amount of blowback that I got. Boom. So when he starts talking about like the negative talk, and again, I talk negatively about myself a lot, all the time. I mean, if you know me, you know, right? So when I saw this, I was like, oh no. Oh no, there it goes, there it comes out. You know, that depression, that whatever it is. I don't know what the man has, but whatever you want to call it, there it is. From this shit, I, I honestly, I suck at doing that. If that's really what I tried to do, damn, I fucking suck at Listen, doing man, that. I, 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 I'm not trying to go down like this path. You hear the self-hate, the self, the self -hate. I suck it, I suck, I'm a terrible person. If I am successful at doing what you're saying that I, I tried to do, then I fucking suck. Okay. I suck at that. And it's like, is that supposed to be a joke? Like, are we supposed to be laughing? Like, it's uncomfortable? Hey. Seriously, yeah. I wouldn't be here. Like, I wouldn't have to be here having this conversation. So, 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 I, wouldn't I, I do appreciate you being here. Like, do you understand how your own point? He's the only one yelling. And it's almost like, do you even notice it? I literally, so 37, 33, I wrote down, calm down, sheesh. I wrote down, calm down, sheesh. Like, I'm taking notes in a class. Like, you guys. I can't. 4053. I try my best, but at the end of the day, I suck. I suck. I boom. At the end of the day, I suck. I suck. <laughs> I, I like. I saw that. And I was like, I want that to be my intro. <laughs> I hate myself. But seriously, it's just it's it's kind of funny because it's just like, yo, what? Why are you doing this? You know what I mean? Oh god. Anyways, eight minutes. We're we're going eight minutes. That means that entire eight minutes, they're literally just scrambling talking. Okay. From you, but then when somebody else like Killick does it, it's somehow not a joke anymore. Boom. Context. Because of the skin color. And what does he say? It's context. It's context. It's context. Yeah, to you, fam. There's no context within your joke because nobody understands the context that you're making. To be honest with you, I think that well, you're, you're just. Context is that my show. I, I, is think, I think that I think that oh, you use comment. comedy as a way to make it so that you don't have to take accountability for the things that you do wrong. Not if, you, if, you, if there's if there's a, if there's a habit of people misinterpreting your comedy, maybe. Oh, this is when he went insane, and why I say insane is because this is when he actually started cussing. So he starts cussing at forty eight fifty five. The way I analyze this video, y'all, please stop playing with me. This is exactly when he starts cussing. So listen. Maybe you're not that funny. Hold on, hold on. You can't just make a blanket fucking statement like that. 
and Edward. just and just say, I literally just said I would go back and change my fucking title for okay. you. Boom. He keeps thinking that that is the main thing. It's like, I just wanted to go in the video and be like, no one is worried about that. Like, literally. Okay. How's, I don't care yeah, about that. I don't that. care. I, I don't bullshit. I just don't. Hold on. Hold on. That's some fucking bullshit, right? I just said I was going to change my title. I'll go back and change it. Okay, I don't like, care right about now, that. Like, right now, at the end of the day, this whole, this is, you can say that about any fucking comedian. You can say that about any fuck that they're hiding behind their fucking jokes. That's some straight up fucking bullshit. Yeah, I could say that you you have a video, for example, where you say that uh, what was it? it was like uh, you know there are like apparently signs at supermarkets saying that yeah that's a great that's a great video to talk about. Yeah, I I brought that up in our video. That you I, want to go buy from black owned business or whatever. Like uh, or boom again, bringing up things that he's assuming that people automatically hate Papa Gut for again, valid, understandable. However, he's already openly talked about it, so you're shooting with no target. You're shooting with no target. It literally is so, it's so bizarre. It's like somebody coming to me and being like, "Yeah, well, that's why you're depressed. <laughs> that's why you're lonely. That's that's why you ain't got no boyfriend. You ain't got no kids. That's why you're almost 30. Huh? I literally talk about that all the time. Do, am I not openly saying that? Do I not openly talk about that? Pretty sure. Pretty sure I do. It's 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 very much like why you're taking shots as there's no target. There's no target. I'm so sorry, fam. You 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 missed you missed the target. Anyways, let's let's skip four minutes. Fifty three thirty eight. It wasn't appropriate for no, me to make it on TikTok. About context. That's the whole thing. In my show, people know that they're clicking on a comedy show. It's you know what I wrote down? Hold on, let me show y'all. Cause I need y'all to really see my notes. Absolutely not. Meaning no, I don't click on your channel saying, I'm going to a comedy show now. Dead Noodles is gonna make me laugh. Absolutely not. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm so sorry. No, uh, uh. There's only been a handful of times, which I have stated in my last week. There's only been a handful of times that this man has made me laugh. Handful, and I, when I say handful, I'm talking less than five, even less than four, most likely. Been a comedy show since its fucking are inception. You, I, wait, okay. So are you saying that like you agree with my original written, take of the old enough to believe? I haven't written. I haven't written on my in my description. I label it everywhere. This is what's hilarious. Is he says I have it in my description, and he goes to his description, and it's not there. It's just like if you are going to state that you're doing comedy, don't report on what's going on. How about that? And if you do report on what's going on, keep it at irrelevant news. Keep it at irrelevant news, okay? Because what you're saying here is that this situation, which obviously involves trauma, essay, pedophilia, I mean, it goes into a whole bunch of different realms. I don't necessarily think that's irrelevant. Hmm, is that irrelevant, Death? I don't think that's irrelevant. You see what I'm saying? You may need to restructure your entire channel because of this. You really might. You really, really might. And I think you are not gonna realize any of these criticism because you're you're too high up. You're too high up. And it's kind of crazy because people say, especially people that are up there. I've had conversations with, with a couple famous people. They, 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 I'm telling you, they literally, sometimes they don't have the foresight to see. They're too far up to see what's going on down there. It's just like, I can't, I, it's just, I'm not, they're not able to connect sometimes. It's the same ignorance that we see with famous people. They don't, they don't see or have the same lives as us, right? So it's just, bro, I can't even explain to you how terribly done this was. Like, oh, we're almost done though. I'm so excited. Show that I think that you're not making a joke. I think that you're being very serious. And then when you get called on it, you're like, you're kind of just walking back like, well, it's just a joke. I don't really, but like, where, how is it? I just, I, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying it just doesn't come off as a joke. I it mean, doesn't. I, that's just. So, so the thing is, here's the thing. A lot of people like to say humor is subjective, right? Sure. Maybe the joke's not waiting for you. That's who's, what it well, is. So what, who's the joke for? People who don't like me. I mean, clearly I have 600,000 subscribers. So there's that's a joke good. for someone. That Boom. Immediately has to flex and then states, that's not a flex, but, you know, I'm just saying. Honey, what you do, you do it well, but. It is not because you're funny. I literally, I, I want, I really want you guys to tell me if you believe that you watch Deaf Noodles because you think he is funny, like, and not funny like he he. I'm talking like funny, like Dave Chappelle, like real comedians. I want it to be in that realm of 
when I Adam Sandler, like that, like these people make me laugh. Like this is this is them. If that is you, I, I'm pretty sure you're young. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm pr I'm pretty sure because there's literally only far between where he has jokes that are, are really like a dun -dun, you know what I mean? Like he doesn't be, he doesn't hit it all the time. He misses the mark for me, you know, quite a lot, but not to the point where it's like I hate him. He's not funny. He's you know, I don't want to watch his channel. It's just like, you're not on the level or I don't even know, like you're not on the level that you think you're on in the, in the comedy or in the comedy sense, in the comedy sense. I don't think he's as funny as he thinks he is. Yeah. So, okay. And I, I'm not complex. I'm saying clearly there are people who identify with the jokes. There are people who I <sighs> So my thing is, does he think that his channel is at 600? thousand subscribers plus because he's funny is that what he thinks because that's so bizarre to me that's so bizarre that's like me saying oh i'm you know i'm i have 10k subs because i'm funny no i have 10k subs because i talk about things that most people want to talk about meaning youtube drama um the kardashian you know like things that the algorithm is gonna like and push you know that you know that dennis don't act like you let me shut up. Let me just shut up. We're going to the next part. Oh, I wrote this as the best part of the entire video. So this means that eh, maybe Papa, Papa, oh yeah, Papa Gut says something. What, what is it? He's, it's not in my heart. Something about the heart. Something about the heart. Hold on. I'm really, I'm really not trying it's to do not, that. No, no, no. Be honest right now. This is exactly what you're doing. You're trying to discredit me. No, 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 no. How do you know that I'm doing that? You don't know what's in my heart. Do you see how this, do you see how that? Yeah, I mean, I, I, period. I was laughing. I had to pause the video. I was laughing so hard when he said that because that was a great joke. <laughs> that was a great joke. And for Dennis not to even recognize it, that would have been a perfect time to be like, ha, you got me. You got me out, you know, that was a good one. I mean, it, it would have been a great time for them to bond. Great, great time. Like, these people don't have managers. I'm just looking yeah. at the You see, I'm no, looking it's at a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very, like, it's a I'm weird looking, perspective I'm to take. Um, this is different. I'm having a conversation no, it's not with because you. you don't know what's in my heart right now. So let's <laughs> just, I'm just, well, let me fucking talk. I'm not. Let me fucking talk. Right there, I was like, "You need to chill." This man said, "Let me not talk." Let me not talk. You haven't let this man talk the entire time, and now, now you're demanding to talk. Discrediting you as a comedian. Oh, no, listen. Let me fucking okay. talk. Okay. You have been asking certain questions. We are having a conversation right now. What you just did is like he's so angry. Huh? I'm telling you guys, I the way this really like I'm glad this happened because it put me in in a state of like I need to get into anger management. I need to get into. I mean, I've already taken a conflict resolution class, but I just I just want to I just want to be better. I want to be better, and I've seen myself be like this. The way Dennis is very defensive, angry, you know, just not likable. You know what I mean? Like I've been like that. I can admit that. I can absolutely admit that. Um, and I think that is phenomenal because there have been times where I literally have been like no this is my personality and I don't care what you think like this is how I am and I'm always going to come off this blunt but however there is a time where you need to really like reassess yourself and see the self-awareness of like man do I really come off like that so for me it's like did Devin Rules watch this and not see did he not have the self-awareness and he was just like no I'm gonna put this on my channel really like you really you really I just it <clears throat> You guys, it, it blew me, it blew me to see that that video is on his channel. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think it was going to be. I was like, why would he do something like that? Why would he do something like that? For me, it's a pathetic move. Oh, I'm trying to platform you. I'm fucking You, just, you literally, you, you, like, I literally explained why that was for you. And your perspective is that that joke was appropriate. You made the point that you thought that that joke was okay, even though I disavowed the joke and tried to explain context. And now you're sitting here trying to be platform me on it. You have an incredibly disingenuous mind. Everything that you say is so bad faith. And I'm expecting to sit here while you yell. Now, what, le like, let me explain to you why this part is so important. So let me tell you the timestamp so you can go back and look and watch it yourself if you want to. One hour and eight minutes in and 22 seconds. The reason that Papa Gut's point right here is so valid is because of Deaf Noodle's reaction. Not in what he's saying. Let me repeat myself. Not in what he is saying. Look at the way he is sitting. He is smiling. He's getting excited. And it scared the living crap out of me. Because you know why he's getting excited? Because he's actually finally getting a reaction out of Papa Gut that's negative that he wanted. Meaning he wanted him to get like heated and angry. Meaning this was the only time he was able to get him at that point. And instead of that being like 
okay, let's calm down. Let's all calm down. He was smiling. He was like happy about it. He leaned back and was like, all right, finally I got this guy where I want. It, it, it came off like that. It came off like that. And again, you have to also understand I'm extremely intuitive. So I really talk like through my gut. So I, it's almost like what I'm saying, there isn't like a factual point, right? But it's what I'm seeing. It's absolutely, my gut is literally like, dude, this dude is in bad faith. This dude is this in, this ingenuous, absolutely freaking lootly. You can see For 75% of the debate. He's smiling. And like your whole thing is like you're trying to, like no, 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 no. Laughing. The whole thing is you're trying to get me upset even though you've been crying the entire time, especially since what I suggested you weren't a good Where comedian. are the tears? One Where second. are the fuck tears? Tell me where the fucking tears the are. Second. As if he doesn't understand that the tears was obviously a freaking analogy. Like, not like you're actually crying. It's the fact that you're literally having a meltdown publicly in front of everybody. Like, <laughs> the second that I suggested that you weren't a good comedian because people don't understand your comedy, melted down. Melted. I mean, dude, I you are fuck. Oh shit, you make these blanket fucking statements. People don't understand my comedy. Yeah. And yet, look at my funny. following. Look at my fucking following. If people don't understand you, because they you follow understand? you, they follow you because they like how hate, like hate for you. Let me, say, let me ask you a question. If I didn't think that. I thought he was gonna say they follow you because you report on things that obviously people want to know about. That's what I thought he was gonna say. But when he said that, I was like, ooh, that's a whole other part I need to think about. Is comedy subjective? Yes, it is subjective. Exactly. So shut the fuck up. Okay, you're right. Right, freaking there. How rude. Did we not already talk? Of he already asked. You already asked this question, is comedy subject? You already asked the question, now you're asking it again. He literally says the exact same answer after he says the answer, you say, shut the F up. Why, Dennis? Hey, that means that Killick was making a joke, shut the fuck up. Boom, that's it, your whole narrative proves that Killick was joking. You're agreeing, you're agreeing that Killick- And you're excited and smiling about telling him to shut up when this is supposed to be a conversation, therefore you're supposed to be open-minded to not tell anyone to shut up and hear their view. Like, can y'all go watch The Great Debaters? Go watch The Great Debaters with Denzel freaking Washington. It's a fantastic movie. Killick is actually okay with sexually harassing a 15 year old girl. Your logic is that it's okay for Killick to sexually harass a 15 year old girl. It's just a joke. Literally, your own logic is, is like fucking rape apologist rhetoric. It's incredible. I don't understand how you can sit here and you can spew cognitive dissonance. Talk about how Super cognitive dissonance. It's just a joke. But the second that a 17 year old black kid does it, all of a sudden it's not a joke. It's not a joke. Like, it's context. It's insane. I don't even think that you have the mental capacity mm -mm. to understand how fucking unintelligent you are. He here. doesn't. It's mind blowing. Either you are the most disingenuous, so morally dysfunctional, it. dumb fuck I've ever met, or you like, or like, what is this? Or you just don't understand. I don't okay, understand what's happening here. Listen, 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 listen. I, 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 like he's laughing and like, ha, 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 ha. like what? Think about that. Any of the times that that death was like getting a little heated, right, or talking, Papa didn't do nothing, nothing like that. He was like, okay, all right, let, let, let's bring it down. Like, let me let me um re-explain myself. Like, what? Like he he tried, he tried to not go in on you so hard, and you. Just, oh my, it's so disappointing, you guys. I just cannot. I, 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 I'm okay with you taking this out of context intentionally, but this is insane. Insane. Right now. Like, okay, let insane. me say something. Yeah, take say something. Let me, okay. Oh, yeah, no comedian has ever been fucking sane, okay? If you knew half of what I went through in my fucking life, you would be surprised that I'm able to fucking speak right now rationally. Wait, so. Boom. Here's how I know he has no self awareness because he says. I wouldn't be here right now being able to speak so rationally. You haven't spoken rationally in an hour and 10 minutes. You haven't had any rational conversation at all this entire time. So for you to say, oh, well, you know, I'm here like for me. Huh? Like, I just felt like that was so, again, disingenuous. And then on top of that, it's, it's another thing to bring up what you've been through. And I'm not going to lie. I feel like the funniest comedians are the ones that have been through the most. I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to say that. Okay. So if you ain't funny, funny, funny to me, I, I do look at you like, eh, you probably ain't been through as much. I'm not going to lie. I do. I really do think that sometimes. And that's because <laughs> I just feel like the funniest people have to be able to extract certain different experiences and lives and and opportunities from all kinds of levels of living to be funny. It's not easy to just be funny. If anything, it's actually something that 
you only have if you're even at the intelligence to even have it. To be honest, most comedians are extremely intelligent, extremely. So if you're not funny, you're not as intelligent as you think you are. I'm so sorry, but you're not. You're. I, oh my god. So do you think that? Wait, wait, wait. Is it? Do you think that it was a joke that killeth me? Context. Do I have to explain to you yes, what the context? Con do you think he seriously thought she was a porn star? He's not. He. First do you think that she seriously thought that she was a porn star? Getting bang bang. Do you think that's that, what he? Did you think? Second. Do you think that he fixed that? See that? Dennis will not answer the question. Wait, hold on. This is the context. Do you think that he, he won't answer? Context? What's okay, the context? There's context. He won't answer the question, and he doesn't answer the question. So we're not going to continue listening to him scream. But the point is, is once he asks a question to Papa Gut, Papa Gut has a question. I mean, has an answer. So explain to me how I'm supposed to be on your side, Def. Explain to me. I, that's where I'm at. I want people to explain to me how I'm supposed to to be on the other, like the other potent side, because I'm I, what I'm seeing is complete. What the f? Which is exactly what I wrote. I literally wrote at 13. Actually, let's go to it because I'm not, we're not even there yet. 1333. I wrote what the F question mark. They do that though. So you just discredited yourself. You just said you don't you don't know what it's what it feels like to be called out. And so I say what the F because he, that never happened. Dennis pulled that out of his butt. So now you're discrediting yourself. No, nothing of that nature even happened. Listen. I literally, I, I, I do. It, I got called out all the time on TikTok. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You just, he's not you even just listening. literally. He's listening to what he wants to hear. Yourself. How? How? You, said, you, said, you said, you don't know what it feels like. You said this to me, okay? Stop for a second and breathe. You said to me, we don't the con does so condescending stop for a second and breathe you need to stop for a second and breathe that's what it feels like to get called out i, I never said, said that you know yes you did yes, if you i did. said that then i didn't mean it i don't know what you didn't say that said, he didn't. Said, and i said i've you watched this three times understanding how many people make videos about me every fucking day and you said yes i know a lot of people may owe you something to that okay, yes, people make sure so yes i understand what it's like to be called out no, I but, why, but why do you think that they make the videos that they make boom I could open Twitter right now, and there are going to be hunt doesn't answer the question. <sighs> it is crazy. Like, it's insane. There's tweets of people calling me everything, saying everything, all their thoughts about me, and that's perfectly fine. No, okay. I know, but, like, listen, from the perspective that I come from, is like, people have called me out very seriously on TikTok, and, like, a lot, not all of them were correct. Some of them said some shit. You're here, you're here offended that I called you an incel. I'm not Meanwhile, you can Shit, what are you brings it up again no one is talking about that you see what i'm saying it's it, it's crazy how it, it's honestly it's exactly what he says that he does which is priming like like having the audience kind of subconsciously think something before it's even proven it's like you keep bringing it up as if it's facts when he keeps saying i'm not offended about that not offended about that i'm not offended about that yo it is the way this video really had me like, explain yourself, please. But I do, like I, I do, I do care about that. I don't give a flying fuck. This is funny to me. It that part right there, bothersome. So bothersome, okay? And that's one hour, 23 minutes and 13 seconds in. It's like, why are you saying you don't care when the conversation hilarious. is not- I think it's fucking hilarious that we're two guys I think it's hilarious. I think it's a. Why do you think it's hilarious? This is a serious conversation that he's trying to have, and you think it's funny. I'm sitting here in rooms across yeah, you're not the laughing. country, yelling at each other like fucking idiots. You're about yelling. The stupidest fucking shit in the world. I don't fucking think it's that. It's not stupid. But it's not really that stupid because, like, from my perspective, this is like a very loaded social issue. Oh man, because I called him a fucking itself. It's fucking. He, it's literally his own narrative. It's hilarious to me, bro. No. It's insane. I just wanted. Can I just? Can I just say something? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, I just really. really we have to fucking. I know. Like, just give me two minutes. Listen. I. 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 Listen, bro. <laughs> listen, when you bro. say that this was all over like bullshit, like I honestly like to me this is over, like you know the diminishment of sexual assault survivors and victims, pedophilia uh, survivors and victims, um, you know just due to the, their overreaction. And honestly, there I do genuinely think that there's an aspect here of overmaturing a, a, a young black uh, boy to make him seem like a man so that he could overprescribe punishment. Mm -hmm. That's a, no, 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 my point is, is to me, that's not. See that? So he says all of that. And what does Devin say? What's your point? 
I'm sorry, you didn't get the point in all of those. So you that wasn't the point to you. Then he has to elaborate again. My point is, can you imagine the level of patience you would have to have to have a conversation with this person? I'm so sorry. I literally, you guys, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Like I was like, this can't be real. This can't be how you actually act. It can't be. This is like, uh, oh. anyway, um, I really, I, I just want to close this off. I, if I'm from okay. my end, I, uh, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. Okay. Uh, Thank you. you know, I apologize. Uh, you know, I'm uh, what can I say? I'm not a perfect person. I'm an emotional person. And, uh, and I, at the end of the day, um, I'm an emotional person. Hmm. Where are the tears? Where are the tears? Sir, emotional, angry, reactive. Let's do some, let's lose a little bit of some other vocabulary because from what you said, you weren't emotional because you weren't crying, right? So let me be quiet. I I will go back and correct the aspect that I didn't cover in my video at the beginning of my next video. Uh, I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, that's what that would be the productivity of this of this conversation boom and then this is what he says <laughs> this is what he says because he's a complete asshole Ooh, listen yeah well i said that at the beginning of the fucking video so okay bro why are you so rude and for what reason like i just well said in the beginning of the fucking video so Okay, you're the one that's asking why, uh, or you're the one that's saying that this conversation isn't productive. He's just pointing out there, boom, there's a re there's some productivity for you. Uh, well, anyway, this was that was part I, of the conversation, so yeah, yeah, it's fine. I said it the first five minutes of the video. Um, it's just, you guys, <laughs> I'm gonna leave y'all with my last time stamp, okay, one hour. 32 minutes in and 57 seconds. After that, I was just absolutely appalled. I didn't even write no other, anything else because I was just, I just couldn't even believe what I was listening and hearing. It was just so, I've never been so disappointed in somebody that I don't even know. <laughs> All over your social media. Yeah. You blasted it. Because yeah. I was afraid that you were going to misinterpret it because you're a very bad faith individual. Let me, so, yeah. Let me fucking finish. You DM me first. Sure. You blasted it all over your fucking Twitter. You put it on your community tab. Yeah. Okay, I've been getting comments about it okay. to the point where I was like, okay, I have to. Uh, I thought about it for a day, and I was like, what can actually come out of this situation? And I thought, it, I'm as far as the the the, the sec. Boom. He starts stuttering right there, which I immediately noticed. And the reason being is, it was stated in this video multiple times that this video could have been. Actually, this conversation could have been private. This didn't even need to be publicly done. Absolutely didn't need to. Papa Gut didn't even care to do it publicly. The second he stuttered there, I was like, oh, you want your coin. You want, you want to win. You want more. You want to climb the ladder. You want to get into more people's faces. Whatever you want to do. Whatever it is, I don't care. I'm not saying that Def Noodles is like, oh, I want to get to over 700, you know, K subscribers no that's not the case what i'm saying is regardless they're content creators and they will get some sort of traction and new subscribers and an elevation with this situation so that is all coming from death you wanted to do this publicly and you know it and that's why you stuttered here actual so. harassment we're on the same side so what's that conversation to be like we're gonna agree we're gonna move past that as far as the mischaracterization of killick we're on the same side I just haven't see what I'm saying. He's already analyzing how the conversation was going to go before the conversation even started. He already had it lined up. This is what I was going to be. This is how it's going to be. And if it didn't go that way, he wasn't going to be happy. So he already set himself up he's it publicly yet. But we're on That's the why same he's side. So upset. We're that and move on. So what else is there? We'll, we'll talk all, about all I, had, all I had asked. Let me, let me you're not letting me finish. OK, what else is there to talk about in that situation? So, so we were that, so that, that's why I arrived at the conclusion that I was like, you know what? I don't really think it's worth going back and having this discussion because I don't think there's anything really productive that's going to so You didn't think anything was productive publicly. Papa doesn't care if it's done publicly. Therefore, it would have been productive privately regardless to him, whereas it wouldn't have been for you because you don't care. Done.
I'm gonna go get my nails done. I love you guys so much. Let me know what y'all thought about this video. If you're brand new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 11K subscribers by the end of this month. Lord, if we can do it, I will be ecstatic. But we just gonna keep on climbing that ladder. You know how us black creators got to do. You know what y'all think? I don't know what to get my nails. How should I get my nails done? I think I wanna do black. Feeling black. I'm feeling very hungry. And I need to wash this mask off. Oh God, I have 30 minutes, child. All right, let me go. Anyways, uh, more content on the way. Okay, love you. Bye.